Penn State football will be banned from bowl games and any other postseason play for four years. The NCAA will allow any entering or returning football student athletes to transfer and immediately compete at the transfer university. We're going to fight for Penn State. We're going to fight for each other because this is what Penn State's about, fighting through adversity. And we're going we're to show up every Saturday. We're going to raise hell. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out. Yeah. I was one of those guys who wasn't sure if they were going to stay or not whenever the sanctions hit. This became college free agency over a two-week period. It became a little bit overwhelming. All of the coaches and people selling dreams, saying you can play for a national championship now and come in and start for three years. Whenever Marty found out that I was thinking about leaving, he said it would mean the world to the program if I stayed. I just love Penn State so much, that's why I decided to stay. Whenever they're an empty and then they uh, bring that running back back in the backfield, do we have to tell that? You don't have to tell him. That's why I didn't bring it up, but I'm glad you did. Okay? The change that we've gone through, it's been pretty crazy. I've seen so many different philosophies and coaching styles. It's kind of hard to keep track of all the time. Hammer and rake. Hammer and rake. It showed me how to go about being a better leader in the future, knowing that I will be accountable for, for everything if, if I'm in that leadership role. When you have a crisis, you're always looking for leaders and individuals with guts. This university could not have asked for better ambassadors through all of this than this senior class. My one roommate texted me and said, our bull man had been lifted. And everyone was like, no, there's no way. He's probably just joking. And we found out that it's real. We are like, wow. You were a part of the program when the sanctions hit. Come up here. He called all the seniors and guys who've lived through the sanctions up to the front of the room, and they gave us a standing ovation. It was one of the experiences that I'll never forget. They sat in the squad room when Joe told them he was going to retire, and then the next day he wasn't the head coach. They sat in the squad room when Bill O'Brien came in and introduced himself as the new head coach. They sat in the squad room when James Franklin came in and introduced himself as the new head coach. It was almost you could see a huge weight lifted off their shoulders. Walker gets away again, throws downfield again, intercepted Amos. We were 5-4 and four for the Temple game. We knew what was on the line and uh, you know, we also knew that you know, we could come in here and beat Temple. Going up the middle to the 5, touchdown Penn State! The Nittany Live football team is bowl eligible. Penn State has 64 recruitable scholarship players on this team. That's one above an FCS team. And yet, they're going to go to a bowl game. Seniors that stayed here when times were tough, and now, because of today, we're bowl eligible. We're going to be able to keep the family together. For yeah! We've gone through things that no college players should have to. You guys are going to go down in history that you stood tall when this school and when this university and when this football program needed you the most. The extra bowl game is just a great reward because what we were able to do despite all the odds stacked against us. I love you guys to my chest game. Let's go. Right. Three, one, two, three. Bam, bam. Is we want to thank you for everything you've done for this program. You are everything that is right about college football. Everything is right about this university. Thank you, teacher. This program will never forget you. We will go out there today and represent everything that you stood for and why we are here today. You got the great chance to go out and compete and represent yourselves and your family. For one last time at Beaver State, I'm asking every single one of you to leave everything on the field, even if you're not playing. You're emotionally and physically exhausted at the end of this game. 
Whenever I think about senior day, I just think about, you know, all the memories that I've created. I remember my first game in Beaver Stadium. Time flies, and a lot has changed in between those you know, four years. Let's go out the right way. The 12, 13, and 14 senior classes will always be remembered as the group that saved Penn State football. I think as Coach Paterno's last recruiting class, uh, he would be proud. I've thought of Coach Paterno quite a lot just because if he wouldn't have brought in the type of players and the type of individuals that he did, we would never have made it. The special teams are going to start off right now. Good coverage downfield, staying in lane because it could end up being the big play in the game. Going to be taken by Shelton at the 10, 15, 20, 25. Hip breaks the tackle, 30, 35, 40. Shelton's going to go all the way. A mere 14 seconds into the game has a 7 to nothing lead. Right now, Penn State defense is going to have to match up against one of the better offensive line in the Big Ten. In trouble, in trouble, down he goes! Defense is starting to dial it up in this game. I think they've found their rhythm. Cook goes back, pressure from Barnes. Hit by Alani and intercepted Settle at the 40. Settle breaks the tackle, gets to the 36 yard line. The Lindy Wines have the ball from the Michigan State 36 yard line. Penn State offensive has to do something here. Get on the board here, need to get a big play. Delivers downfield, reaching up in the end zone. And an interception by Wayans in the end zone. That was a golden opportunity that slipped through the cracks that time at the end. Now this defense needs to do it again, Jack. But Penn State needs to hold this to a field goal here. Langford up the middle, Langford hit, drives the legs, drives the legs, and he's in touchdown, Jeremy Langford. We had him stopped right at the two. We just could not get it done on third down. Play action, Hackenberg, Christian hit from behind as he throws, the ball's loose on the ground and Michigan State recovered. Trips far side, Cook back, pressure from Hull, steps away, double clutches, throws in the end zone, caught. Touchdown, Michigan State, Tony Lippett. They took control of this football game in the third quarter, and, uh, and Penn State just could not answer anything Michigan State delivered.